forever. Dog. My favorite moment is when I pranked you guys into thinking that I was proposing my girlfriend. That's literally the first one. That's my favorite moment because now I'm actually doing it. When? When we move in. I thought we would do it like no, the first you're time. No, you're another prank. Piece I'm literally not prank. with you guys right now. Get I have the ring. to ring, Get the ring in my backpack. Show us. Show us. <gasps> Mac just got up. Oh my God. Mac just put the mic down and walked away. Watch this. Hmm. Oh, she's undressing. Oh, Ashley's. Oh, okay. There's a t-shirt underneath. Mac, you look cute. Wait. <sighs> What what the actual fuck? Did Ashley actually change? Did I you actually I don't know change? what you're talking about. This is a week later. Wait, Elena, are you eating on pod? I'm having a bit of peanut butter. I'm starving. Eating on pod. This is crazy. Like, actually, this is criminal. Starve to death. Ashley, that yeah. purple is so your color. So I know. Good. I look amazing in this hat. I love that purple it's on you. It looks hat. so good. And I love that sweater, Mac. I want to wear that sweater. <laughs> Oh That's thrifted, right? I'll literally like th- I'll ship it to you. Like, you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those glasses are thrifted. the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Can you also get my fizz bombs and brand package when you're on your way to the post office? Elena, yeah. sassy McSassass. <laughs> okay. How is the how's the fizz bomb business these days? Well, I don't have my fizz bombs yet, so there's so you're on hold s- until you're you saying get them. that with that sweater on. There's just something too real about what just happened. <laughs> this is our last year, our last episode of the Elena, year. I'm having a hard time watching you. Like <laughs> after our last conversation, I'm having a maybe I'm ovulating or something, but you can't be licking that spoon on camera. I'm I'm literally not licking it. I'm doing this in the least sexual way possible. I'm like biting the spoon, uh, like like very like maybe gently. You. Yeah, cover your mouth. Well, yeah, I'm gentle because otherwise it's gonna make <laughs> sounds in the mic, and that's disgusting. Peanut butter is gonna make sounds in the mic regardless mm-hmm. of what you do. I don't care about the sounds in the mic. You do whatever you want. Listener Elena is covering her mouth almond mom style, <laughs> eating her peanut butter. I'll start this. Are you sure it's not almond butter? She's nodding her head. Yes, she's very sure she. It's oh, organic she peanut butter, butter. sustainably it's sourced peanut butter. Cheapest no peanuts were harmed. peanut butter on the market. I like the nasty peanut butter. Yeah, you is do. It, no, nasty peanut butter is delicious. It healthy Dirty, peanut butter peanut peanut never butter. tastes right. Oh, she's pointing at me, nodding her head voraciously. I'm correct. I, I'm correct. I have the organic shit. They say peanut butter is one of the things that you should definitely eat organic. But the, oh, really? The bad, the bad stuff just tastes so good. It's so good. It is better. It's so good. Oh, I love Jif. Or, oh, it I'm cheaper. cheaper than that. I'm like Western family from Walmart. Like, Oh, I don't even know what that is. Generic. The generic. generic. As cheap as it can go. Well, because I use peanut butter for a lot of stuff, too. So if you get the expensive kind, it's a, it, it adds up. Those peanut butter expenses add up. Yeah. You're peaching in the choir. Peaching to the choir. <laughs> did you say peach into the choir? She said peach I did into say the choir. peach into the choir. Okay, but That's like me when I see a nice butt. I'm like, you are peaching to the choir you right are now. To the choir. <laughs> I'm horny. <laughs> Ashley, are you ovulating? Dude, wait, I'm ovulating too. I'm oh like, zinc too. That's crazy. Wait, we're all three ovulating. Wait, I right actually now? don't even know if I'm ovulating though. I, I don't have the right to say no, that. No, I definitely am. When I do you this is am. crazy. When do you ovulate ovulate relative to your period? Usually like Usually like two, one and a half to two and a half weeks before. Okay. Then I am not ovulating, but I am horny. So what am I? <laughs> it's like you're horny. the other side of your cycle. <laughs> it, there must have been a different catalyst. My period and I'm wondering ended if it like has two to do with the last ago. episode. Oh, well, I oh, feel like. Oh, whoa. Though, you are not ovulating a, right now. No, but that's like a, that's a horny time. Why is that a horny time? Wait, let's see what period. my app says. I don't actually know why, but Insights. mine's at the end of my period. Well, yeah, that's what that's what I just said. That's what Ashley just said. She's at the end of her period. Yeah, oh, I just said like a, a horny time, and then right before the period is a horny time, and ovulating is a horny time. So I guess and your estrogen level time is you just rising. want to die for like two weeks. Can, do you know how fucking fucked up it is? Welcome to the Chosen Family podcast. Oh hi everybody. But Excuse the me. Luteal face. 
Mm. That's like half of a month every month. I don't know what you're talking about, but can I please describe what's happening in my body? I have it open. Yes, tell yeah. us. I'm Ashley Gavin. I'm your father, and my estrogen level is rising. So you, <laughs> I may notice that my hair and skin are looking better. My appetite is normalizing. And there also you might be a, mo- a boost to your mood and productivity. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Let's zoom in oh, on what's happening in your body. Can, yeah, talk. Tell us what the ovulating phase is, because if Mac and I are both ovulating, tell us what's happening in our bodies. Okay, let me. Also, zoom I'm Elena Joy, and I'm your mom, and I'm ovulating. Okay. I'm Mac and Jimmy, hot teenage brother. I'm also ovulating, and baby, I think baby what's is happening. Ovulating. Oh. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 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 I'm trying to. I'm trying to see like when the horn, when the horn is released. Well, ovulating, but also Frisky. I feel like post period and pre period. It's, it's just most of the time. No, you're right. There are four phases. I don't actually know their names or like much about them, but you have the period, the post period, the ovulating, and pre period. Yet there are four distinct phases in your whole. Oh yeah. Cycle. Okay, you guys know my Whoop, my like fitness watch. Sure. Yeah. So it also mm-hmm. tracks my period and like how my my recovery is in relation to my period. Menstruation gives me a fifteen percent increase in my recovery on average. Interesting. Which is crazy because that's the thing that affects my recovery the most. The day before my period, or like the weeks before, the two weeks before, my recovery is so low. Then mm-hmm. when I start my period, it shoots up. It's like almost a hundred percent every day. It's crazy, and I feel way better. And mm-hmm. like, and then you're in. This is what I was saying before: the late luteal phase. Mm-hmm. I have so much fucking beef with this phase because men don't have it. I'm I pissed love about Mac it. Broifying her period right now. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, I've never heard you a are... period be so masculine. Yeah, a hundred percent. When your menstrual cycle affects your recovery, do you still need this pre-workout or? I don't take pre-workout. I'm on hinge right now. Why? For what? I'm gonna try and have sex tonight. Oh, guys, I'm we're doing open. the thing where it gets chaotic, and I feel like one of us is about to lay down. It's the podcast is going horizontal. We have to. We've got to so bring this in. Wait, so can you talk us through what your hinge? What like the people that are around? Can you read us your hinge Ashley, profile? Can you tell us? Like, tell. Let's do a live. Read, go over your profile. Let's do with a us. live hinge session. Well, I'm, do you have I'm, an audio on your profile? Of, like, I do. Your Wait, but, okay. Before Dude, we please. get into all this, okay. can we just acknowledge that this is our last? episode of the year and also oh that right we, we're doing a we thing we never did like a we never did like a happy birthday one year of the podcast like we completely just missed i don't do that... things like that why not you have actually know. you have to celebrate stuff like that otherwise That's, what is, yeah, what is well, life? this is us adding ritual and tradition it's like yeah. we should have i feel like we should have done like a oh my god we've been like one year Happy we birthday! We should have us. each gotten like a okay. little like thing and written on it. Yeah, like, happy birthday hats. Year. We could have done a whole thing. So I let's do it now. You know. Okay, let's do it now. But also, do you want to hear my voice prompt on Hinge? Absolutely. I want to. I want to know everything if about your Hinge your profile. It's not your Donald Trump okay. voice. This is this is my best celebrity impression. I have so many matches the- on Hinge. My what did I just say? Hinge. Nobody <laughs> has more matches than I do. I have more matches. <laughs> Then Hillary Clinton's deleted emails, okay? <laughs> How did we know? How did we know? That was an impressive that was an impressive guess. Thank you. I can only do one impression. So what's what's the turnover rate like for a voice prompt like that? Oh people yeah, like do you it. get a lot of reactions to that? Yeah. Yeah. People think it's funny. Did you it, did that's because it's fucking hilarious. Find anybody cute? The bar is so high because of Jen. Yes. Yes. Yes, I get that. That, yeah. Damn, yeah, you're so right. There's this girl. Did you just look for pieces of Jen and other, and other, <laughs> other women people. that you hook up with? I... There's this girl, she kind, of, she kind of, her eyes remind me of Jen, so <laughs> tried that. And... No, I, so there's this girl that I would love to hook up with again, and she broke up with her boyfriend. Mm. I don't know whether or not she knows I'm in an open relationship. She does know I'm in a relationship. Mm-hmm. We're like friendly, but I wouldn't say we've been friends in a while. But I would like to have sex with her. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to message her. her. You you haven't before? No, we have. Oh, okay. Okay. So we had sex throughout 2021. Mm -hmm. But 
she called it off with me because she said she was getting feelings and I didn't, I did not. That oh, then you bold. should leave her alone right now, honestly. <laughs> oh, Sorry, yeah. Sorry, dude. That's tough. She, yeah. no. She can't handle that right now. No, she just went through a breakup and she I'm already so had sorry. feelings for you before. The breakup was like three months ago. I, I feel like if she just like... So you're going to put her through another situation where she you guys hook up and she gets feelings for you and then you have to cut it off? She yeah, doesn't you've, need you've that. you've already been there. Ashley, you already know how this goes. But it wouldn't be as frequent because I, I'm in a relationship now. Ashley, I hate to say this, but your charm and your good looks and if you wear that purple hat, <laughs> it might not need to be frequent. She's defenseless. The poor girl. This Wait, but why? What, her? What, well, why maybe her? she's changed. Maybe because the sex was so good. Well, that's probably part of the problem for her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be worse. <sighs> There's no way for me to check in with her and just see if her feelings have changed. Maybe her feelings have changed. No, because you are doing it to have sex with her. Yeah, no, she already told you, like, no. But she doesn't know. know that I'm an option for sex. Maybe she wants to have sex, too. Maybe she wants to rebound. So. Yeah, but she had feelings for you. That's, that's yeah. kind of fucky. It was years ago. It was years ago. And I think okay, that, okay, but I'm what if myself, it, like, if, gives her a sense of comfort? Like, here. Like, because if, you're familiar. If I started to have feelings for somebody years ago that I was sleeping with, and then I went through a breakup or, and that person ended it or I called it off or whatever. We called it off because I had feelings and that person didn't. And then years later, that person reached out to me and was like, hey, like, what's up? You want to? I think I would immediately be pulled into like, oh, maybe there's a shot now. Maybe something. But she changed. knows I have a girlfriend. She does. Yeah. OK, I guess. I mean, really, she's an adult and. Yeah, I mean, she can make her own choices. If you give her all the information, I love how she you talked make... us into <laughs> you talked us into giving you permission. No, for you guys someone are else right. I know you. you're right. I know you're right. I want it to be her idea. How yeah, do I so make it her idea, dude? Keep posting those fit checks on Instagram. Maybe like get a little. But now, now I have to post them and be the like, TL. by the way, did you know my relationship is open? Not to anyone did, particular. Did she end it? I can't remember. You said she called it off, or you did. We threw out the whole thing. I was like, hey, I'm just doing this for fun. I was in a relationship. I'm not looking for anything more. And we would have mm -hmm. regular check-ins about that. And then one time I, I was doing a regular check-in. I was like, hey, are you still feeling good about like the fun that we are having? Yeah. And then she burst into tears. And I was like, okay, well, this is not good. Ashley, and please post on Instagram. Post an infographic. Like, top 10 misconceptions <laughs> about open relationships. <laughs> 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 Not put, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now, and I'm gonna write not posting this for anyone in particular. <laughs> yeah. One of the like, misconceptions that you is shouldn't that you reach can't. out to a person in an open exactly. relationship. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's so funny. There's your solution. <laughs> One through ten. Top ten misconceptions about people in open relationships. Number one through ten. You sh you shouldn't reach out to them. Nah, you probably should. <laughs> this isn't for anyone in particular. Especially if you've slept together before, like multiple times, and it was really good. <laughs> Misconception number three: feelings can't change. They, they, you know, maybe you had feelings before, but they've gone away. Was the sex really good? Misconception oh number God. five, you can't try again. That is hilarious. <laughs> the best way to learn a language is through immersion, living where the language is spoken natively and using it every day. But that's not possible for everyone, especially if you don't have a passport. So what's the second best way to learn a language? Babbel, because with Babbel, you can start speaking a new language in just three weeks. And you don't need a passport. This summer, you can start speaking a new language with Babbel. Why Babbel? Because it works. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a private tutor or spending two minutes getting your picture taken and submitting some forms for your passport or fooling yourself with language apps that are little more than games, Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel is designed by real people for real conversations. All of Babbel's tips and tools for learning a new language are approachable, accessible, rooted in real-life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching. 
My favorite part about Babbel is that all of the courses are for real life conversations. You can use those skills that you picked up the very same day, like asking for directions or ordering food. It was so easy for me when I was in Mexico to use what I learned in Babbel Spanish courses. And now, especially being in school, I don't have time for like full big French lessons anymore. So doing Babbel's quick 10 minute lessons is the best way to keep up the skill. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash chosen. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash chosen, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash chosen. Rules and restrictions may apply. I thought as our like Patreon part, because we asked our patrons, because they have uh, pr- access to a private Discord, patreon.com slash chosen family podcast, if you want to support our work and be a part of that private private chat room. Um, I asked for people's favorite. That's so smart, Elena. Holiday that was moments. really, that's a really good idea. Yeah, because I thought for the last episode of the year, we could talk about like favorite moments. Yeah, I think that's um, pretty cute. My favorite moment is when I pranked you guys into thinking that's that literally I was the first to my girlfriend. One. That's literally the first one. That's Somebody my said, favorite moment because now I'm wait, actually doing it. It said the time Mac pranked you guys that she was getting engaged was priceless. Mac, what did you just that say? That was really that was really good. I said that's my favorite one because now I'm actually doing it. When? When we move in. I thought we would do it like No, the first you're fine. That's another prank. Fucking piece I'm of shit. I'm literally not prank. fucking with you guys right now. Get I have the ring, the ring get the in ring. my backpack. Show Go us. Show us. <gasps> Mac just got up. Oh my god, Mac just put the mic down and walked away. How long have they been dating? Not long enough. They're <laughs> She can't even drink yet. <laughs> Wait, how old are they? Wait, no, that's not true. No, that's not true. How old is yes, she? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. How old is she? Young. She's young, not 20. She's younger than 21. I think she's 20. No way. No yes. way. Max girlfriend is, is 20. Yes. I'm wearing AirPods, you twat. Right now, Mac is scouring the apartment looking for a ring for this. Yeah, for this prank that she's pulling. This is a prank. Let's see. It's blurry. I don't believe it. It's blurry. I don't believe it. It's blurry. Let's see. It was my middle finger. That was the joke. With a fake ring, right? With a fake... Yeah, guys, I'm not fucking proposing. I'm not crazy. (laughs) Okay. Also, the best part of that prank was actually... (laughs) <laughs> that people got mad at you guys afterwards when I posted the prank on my TikTok channel. Oh yeah, that we weren't because supportive. they were like mm-hmm. because your like, fourteen year old fans you don't need are like unsupportive of this. It was yeah. some adults. It was adults. Like I got married when I was twenty. We've been together for five years. And blah. yeah, and they're gonna break up in like, three seconds, and they don't know life, <laughs> and they need to explore. Mac, you cannot get engaged before you have a fucking passport. Is that a is that a rule? That's a hard yes, line, actually. That's actually, a that, rule. that's a hard line, actually, for me. I'm gonna say. Well, that's that's very motivating. I've never felt so <laughs> motivated before to get my passport. <laughs> yeah, that's like when we go into 2024. If you haven't done your passport, this it's out of control. This is already okay. obviously out of control, but like, come on. It's so crazy because I'm literally staring at my backpack and the paperwork is in my yeah, so backpack. What's finished. The block? What's the block? What, it, what Honestly, has not happened that needs to happen? Nothing. I don't actually know. I just haven't gone. I literally just haven't gone. But like, what's I the think step? You just have to mail it? It's That's like when step? you go, it's, no, I because I have to get my picture taken. Okay. It's like when you go to the DMV and you're like, I know I forgot something. And I feel like that's going to happen. Like, I wish that somebody would go to the, because I'm just a little baby. I just Number wish one, somebody would take me to the Misconception to the office. that you shouldn't DM me. You should. Number two, <laughs> that since we hooked up before, we shouldn't again. We should. We should. <laughs> what, we... <laughs> what, should, what else should I write? Um, just because you developed feelings before means you will again. You will Not won't. always true. <laughs> <laughs> that the sex was better for you than it was for me. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was mutual. Oh my god! You 
need to throw in like some descriptors in there that would be specific only to her. Like so that if she saw it, she would know. Your name is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the next person said, the episode of you and Ashley sharing earphones and re-traumatizing Mac about potentially getting back together will forever be a core memory. So I would like to add to that the episode where we were in person in your hotel room and you started singing flimsy bits. It's a flimsy bit. <laughs> that will bring me joy for the yeah, rest of my life. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. That's probably my favorite moment. That's actually, actually my when least you were touching favorite my episode. Ear. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do it again. We have to do that again. I would love for you to touch my ear again. You got to come back to Vancouver. You know and you know why the you best can? Thing is. Because you have a passport. Matt, if we do, I would love for you to join us. I really want us to, to do an in-person us. episode with all three of us, but you guys still share earphones and like <laughs> and I'm you're... zooming you across the room. <laughs> I mean, that's how it would go, obviously. Obviously. Um, oh, the dress up episode, the dress up Barbie episode where you couldn't take no. Max seriously. <laughs> Just because you develop feelings last time doesn't mean that you will again you won't for yep. repeat any of these five that this isn't for a specific person it is okay uh-huh you need one a bit more descriptive Actually, no i is love this it. weird no i love it well do you the two of you have like an inside joke or do you have like something that the two of you share that oh, that she would understand is for her that's a new face that's a new ashley face <laughs> I don't know. It's been a really long time. Can you describe what she looks like, or is that too much no. for the podcast? Okay. Also, <laughs> <laughs> I just have a very strong type, so people are going to be like, "It's uh-huh. going to be everyone she's ever been with." Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the DMs are going to be full. Oh, something about just going through a breakup. Like you shouldn't hook up with. You shouldn't hook up right after you go through a breakup. You should. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Oh, favorite. A lot of people are just saying the dad rants in general are their favorite moments. That's so nice. The time Elena tried to take on another job and Ashley did a whole rant on how (laughs) Elena was not to take the job or help them find a better person. Hashtag dad rant. Worried because you recently went through a breakup? No big deal. (laughs) Yes. No big deal. It's been three months. Oh, oh shit. Like the specific that- timeline. <laughs> Hi, Cooper. Do you know does she watch your stories? Do you see her in there? I don't know. I have no idea. I have like a lot of followers. Damn, do do your research. Come on. You have a lot Come of followers. On. It's very hard to find someone like that. I'm pretty sure after a story expires, you can search who looked at it through like the I think that's a thing. Top five misconceptions about open relations, because I'm in one. Did you know that? (laughs) That you shouldn't DM me, you should. That since we hooked up before, we shouldn't again. We should. Just because you developed feelings last time doesn't mean you will again. You won't. Worried because you recently went through a breakup? No big deal. It's been about three months. You're doing great. (laughs) That this isn't for a specific person, it is. That's, it's perfect. It's perfect and wonderful. And we can each share it to our stories as well yeah. to make sure it reaches the broadest audience. This is such an efficient way to use your platform, in my opinion. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is what using this is what having influence is for. Yeah, exactly. This is what being an influencer. I posted it, so this about. might have been a horrible oh, idea. Oh my god! Did you post I it to your grid or to your so fucking bad. My story, and I tagged you guys. Will you repost it? Absolutely. I want to have sex with a show. I? Was... I don't. Uh, how, can we repost that? Why? Uh, I don't. Oh yeah. Because I'm gonna get DMs su- being like, "You're such a bitch like to your get- girlfriend." Blah blah blah. How did we just get on board with this so hard? What happened to the wait? This is a bad idea. Where did that go? <laughs> no, no, I mean, this everyone. Is a great idea. Everyone has wait, told me oh not my God, to reach you're out so to her. Right. Yeah. We're like, how did we wait. Just, holy shit. We didn't even notice. Actually, wait. <laughs> Actually, wait. <laughs> you guys are just so no, full of babies. You because see. because you're right. Now it's in her hands. Oh, right. We're right. She we has she's an the adult. power. Ashley has made herself Well, if she available? sees it, and if she doesn't see it, I repost it again and again and again. <laughs> well, if you'd like, I mean, maybe you could just DM it to her. 
No, no. Do you guys follow my uh, my private Instagram? That's like just my friends. Yeah. No. It's so cute. Actually, I didn't know you had. Oh no, no, you'll probably just make fun of me because it's just pictures of me and my girlfriend. Yeah, it's but very cute. You should cute. follow it because it's like okay. my it's like my real life. Let's see if she saw my story. Damn, I'm looking at this profile now. It's literally just all pictures of me and my girlfriend. Yeah, it's cute. Let's keep going through some of our favorite moments. Okay. Yeah, flimsy bits. Absolutely. The episode where Mac had straight panic. That was great. <laughs> no, because you guys got roasted on that social media clip too. People, they don't, they're really... People were mad because they were like, that's not straight panic, it's bi panic. Yeah, right. We fucking know that yeah. it was it was for the joke. It was for the bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can you send us the... I want to see yeah, this Yeah, send it. Oh, God. She's... Oh, send man. It in the group chat. Her body. Ashley, you just sounded we, like such a dude. Yeah, we can't be a part of this. Uh, we can't, man. We can't be a part of this. I like her body, man. Oh, no. I can't, dude. My favorite... One of my favorite episodes from the podcast <laughs> was the first time that Elena wore a black tank, tank top. That was, that was everybody's ever. favorite episode. <laughs> no, no, nobody has said that. Cooper is laying down. In Someone said a highlight reel of every time Fulton has flashed his puckered asshole across the screen. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Oh, look at the puppy. Why oh, cute. Oh, cute puppy. What do you mean? Why is he laying? He's having a relaxing time. He's laying time. and eating. Is that normal? Have you never laid down and ate? <laughs> Touche. Bad cop fanfic. Tough guy Mac for the win. I loved when we did bad cop fan fanfic. That was Good hilarious. Cop, bad cop. Oh, and then in, someone was talking here. Is talking about milestones. Um, also, just oh. like your, one milestone. Ashley, your comedy special came out. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, like, that's crazy. That's really nice. And it was funny. That's cute. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it was like actually funny. I tried very hard. It was pretty, pretty hilarious. It's pretty good. It was totally um, self-produced. I started my master's program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Elena Milestone. started her master's program. Been a Damn. big year. You guys are so accomplished. I just waited for my apartment this entire year. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Waiting for an apartment and didn't do your passport. That's been max. It's been a big year for me. But how are you guys feeling like at the end of the year? Are you feeling like ready for a break? Are you feeling ready for 2024? How's the end of the year feeling? Hmm. I'm feeling hopeful. Oh, I love for, that. For new opportunities. How about you, Elena? How are you feeling? I'm tired. I feel a bit run down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's all it's been a lot. So I'm tired. You but. just need someone to touch your ear. <laughs> yeah. Just take care of you and touch it's, your ear. I just need to be taken care of. No, I need to finish this. I need to finish my You need semester. to be baby. I do, and I am. So I do, and I am. I, do, but it's I am. I do. I'm. Ta I am taken care of. It's good. Good. I'm just tired. Actually, how are you feeling? I'm mixed. I, I mean, like I'm still kind of on a. I'm at the. I, what feels like the end of the roller coaster, but there are still little times mm -hmm. where I'm like really frightened. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still. Yeah. I'm still frightened about the financial impacts of the cancellation on my team. Mm -hmm. Right. That's really scary. It's not something I love talking about online. I'm sure you guys can understand why. Mm -hmm. um, and it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to be like, I built out this whole thing and this, you know, I made a lot of business decisions, not forecasting a massive cancellation. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, it has affected me. And so I sometimes I get nervous. Mm hmm. But then other times I'm like really excited because I'm like, oh, I'm back to doing comedy the way that it felt before I blew up on the internet and it's like more pure and it's like, it's really nice. And that part of it's really good. So I am like really hopeful in that way. And I have a few projects. So I'm mixed. I, I'm trying to lean into the hopeful side of it, but I'm still yeah. in recovery. Yeah. That so that's kind of how I feel. 
do you do you see things like coming back around now like you've got your european tour coming up that's crazy yeah i'm excited about that um wild if things are coming back around it is it is not like at a state where i'm ready to be like yes i see things coming back around Mm -hmm. i went viral for the first time with a new clip um Mm -hmm. but that is the only thing that i've seen that indicates recovery it's gonna take a long time to fully recover yeah. So I'm trying, I'm, but I'm trying to be hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. It's, sorry, guys. No, no, you don't have to say sorry. I'm just thinking like it's, it has been a year. This has mm-hmm. been a year. Yeah. A it wild, is, wild year. Yes, at least for me. A wild, wild year. Mm-hmm. I know in my life there's been just a lot of changes. Damn. I feel like I had the opposite year of you guys. This is like the most stagnant and like boring and like i'm not doing anything year of my life besides just the same things that i'm doing that's gonna be your next year i need 2024 mm-hmm. i'm excited i start school nope. and i think moving. stagnant sounds really nice <laughs> no, i would love to have a stagnant this, no. year <laughs> yeah. i would love for nothing to happen in my year <laughs> <laughs> oh i've been thinking about i don't how do i phrase this i've been thinking about the idea of having like one thing that you do and that be the thing that you do. Like, <laughs> like I was thinking about, I think I saw somewhere someone was talking about getting a, like a six figure deal to write their next book. Yeah. Right. And I started thinking about that and I was like, imagine that someone on January 1st said to you, here's, a hundred grand, here's 200 grand, whatever, six figures. Whatever you need. Yeah, exactly. Here's everything that you need for the year. Yeah. You now have the year to do this one task, to do your special, to write a book, to to make a get movie. Get your passport. To get... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I would say, pa- keep the money. <laughs> yeah, you'd say, not enough. <laughs> seven figures are possible. I'm going to need seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... And let's say for me, it was like, get your degree. Like if it, if, if I, if I, I just can't even wrap my head around how that would feel to have one task. Yeah. And I mean, that's why <sighs> I'm going to be vulnerable for a second. That's why yeah. like this cancellation, like really kicked me in the nuts. Yeah. Because for like the whole time that I've been doing this, I've been running multiple podcasts. I've been doing stand up comedy, touring mm-hmm. it, running mm-hmm. my weekly show at home, Mm -hmm. cutting my own clips. And I knew I needed three employees in order to do all these things so that I could focus on my comedy and writing Mm -hmm. either a movie or a TV show, Mm -hmm. which is all I want to do. I don't know yet, but I, I got to that point where I was like, I can afford it. I can do it. I finally got, I can, I can spend time with my girlfriend. I can mm-hmm. think about having children. I can, I, I don't have eight jobs anymore. I have three employees. I don't have three jobs anymore. I can do this. Yeah. And that's why this was, that's why it feels like I'm grieving a little bit because I like put in. Yeah. More than a little bit. I remember I was thinking about that before you started before when you were talking about the cancellation and the impact on your business. I was th- I didn't want to say it because it sounded like a I didn't want to bring you down. But like, I remember you talking about being at that point and like focusing on your on your um, solo show and like, yeah, so I can't imagine. Yeah, it's big but basic. Grief. Yeah, it's big, and I'm I'm going to have to tour more to offset the... I'm going to be gone every weekend. Yeah. I don't know if people will understand, but... Of course, you've been working for... They, it sounds like privileged problems, but, like, it's a small business. Like, it's not... This it is not a multi-million no. dollar business. No, this it is, doesn't sound like privileged problems to me. It sounds like you built, you spent years building something to a point where it would be just one job. You're not, it's not like you're right. saying, oh, I'm going to go to, to Jamaica for a year, which even right. if you were saying that, you're allowed to say yeah. that, but that's not what you're saying. You're saying I built something so that I could do my one job. I could do the thing I'm passionate about. And that's been mm-hmm. taken away from you. Which is still multiple jobs. It's still recording this podcast. Yep. It's still recording the other podcasts. Mm-hmm. It's still being on tour, but I could finally do something sustainable, which is yeah. write the creative work that needs to get written. Like, yeah. 
so at some point I have to write my comedy, you know, and that mm-hmm. was really what I wanted out of 2024. So I don't mm-hmm. know what, I don't know. I've like, I feel very mixed because like mm-hmm. I had the best and worst year of my life in one year, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. like it was crazy. It was yeah. my dreams came true. And then my, you know, if I were running a restaurant, I got COVID. If I was running like a beach resort, I got hit by a hurricane. You know what I mean? Like it, yeah. it, it, yeah. It really hit. It really hit hard. I also sorry, think that sorry everybody. Like, no, I think it, what you're saying is valid, and I think something people don't like really understand about what you're saying about having all these jobs and stuff. People see a social media account that has like millions of followers and just assume that money is kind of handed to you, mm. and there are a lot of privileges that come with you know having a following. I'm not disputing that at all, mm-hmm. but you still have to like make money. Like having followers doesn't really make you money. And so I'm just saying that I'm saying that to credit, you Mm -hmm. know, the work that you have to put in. You're talking about building this. You're, you have to like, you still have to make money. The followers don't make you money. And especially on like, people really don't know that, do they? No, they just, I mean, people assume that you're rich if you have followers, but, and like I said, there are a lot of privileges. I don't want people to think that I'm like, disputing the fact that there are other privileges that come the, with but it's the money you make on views is like pennies it's yeah. less than pennies like each yeah. view yeah. is like less than a penny like it's well, and it's, that's even if you're in the states in canada i was about to I say elena doesn't even get TikTok. paid yeah. In canada. yeah i literally yeah. don't i literally don't get paid well i don't i can't really make money either because my stuff is dirty so like well, i can't and exactly. that's the like, other thing yeah even the money aside if you just think about hours put in in a week like if you break mm-hmm. it down everybody has um or people can really understand and like relate to a 40 hour work week a 20 hour work week whatever it is like we're putting in 60 to 80 hour work weeks you know Minimum. like like it's Minimum. not and and what ashley is saying and i think what what i'm what i like was trying to wrap my head around when i thought about like the idea of getting some sort of deal where you had like a task for the year and that was the thing yeah. you were going to do is being able to have a reasonable work week so that you could also live life and i think that's what we're all trying to work toward and it's really heartbreaking to be on the cusp of it and then have the hurricane hit yeah 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 it seems like it's also just from the discourse going on right now that it is impossible for anybody i was about to say living in the states like so many people feel this way insane yeah. yeah yeah people the, that have like yeah. you know they did the right thing or they got the right job they did a b and c that they were supposed to do to be okay mm-hmm. and you know they did all of it because that's what the older generation did and they were fine and it doesn't work and yeah it doesn't work are working anymore. their asses off people yeah. are drowning yeah and like there is no turnover that for that you can work as hard as you work and people are still going into debt like yeah wages are not livable like no. it's and you see the profits that these corporations are pulling in and how profits just keep increasing and increasing yeah. and increasing yeah. while like living wages, minimum wage, just general pay is like not keeping up with inflation. It's wild. Yeah. I mean, there's some, there is some hope. I hope for like just on the union side, like that big car, um, the auto workers union had a huge win Mm -hmm. like one or two weeks ago. Um, So that was good. And we're seeing people trying to unionize at like Amazon Mm -hmm. and Starbucks and stuff like that. So um, hopefully, hopefully hopefully that will spur some change. But Mm -hmm. when I saw the auto workers deal, I was like, should I be an auto worker? Like I literally (laughs) was like, they're making like a, some of them are going to make a hundred grand and they live in like fucking Michigan. I was like, Am I? <laughs> yes. Do I want to be an auto worker? No. I, literally. <laughs> no, you want to be financially stable. This six is figures. what I mean. Exactly. I'm they, like, you can, wait, you can like have one job and make a, li- and a living wage. Just and then also, say, it's not and, like a job. No one's going home and being like fucking tailpipes. Say. Like, they go home. Say. They go yes. home. Yes. You go to your job, you do your job, and then you come home and you're just like home. Yeah. yeah. Like, this yeah. doesn't. Your and wife it, just yeah, we're blows not trying to you. Complain. That's what we're they do, right? We're not trying to right? complain. It's just like, Sorry. it's a different, 
uh, yeah, it's just a, I I think I'm feeling quite tired. I'm feeling burnt out. And so there's a part of me that is like longing for more simplicity because juggling all of the things that I'm juggling. A hummingbird. (laughs) Oh, is, um, oh, we don't see those a lot here. That's nice. Um, too many Christmas trees ruining the environment (laughs) is, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a lot. I think that is that this time of year does sometimes like bring that up a little bit. Like you're Mm -hmm. like longing for just to like be with family and like slow down and and, yeah. 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 I'm feeling that I'm feeling the urge to kind of slow, to slow it way down. For sure. Well, this is a great time to thank our patrons because yes. Yes. you give us a little bit of Truly. peace in that. That like, seriously, that's like, that is like one of the only things if a creator has a Patreon, yep. that's like a consistent it thing. It is a lifeline. Like this it podcast is, yeah. Patreon and my personal Patreon, have, I've said it for the past five years. Like it's literally the only reason I can do this full time because yeah. I know that I have some expenses covered, you know? And then yeah, having is... employees and speaking of unions and all that stuff, like having employees and then paying them fairly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like yes. Yeah. that's, yes. it's, I refuse, that's, that's an expense I refuse to cut. Yeah. So then it's like, how do you build something that is sustainable for you and those other, and those other people? Yeah. Because you want to be you. fair. Patreon. Yeah. So thank, thank you, you guys big time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this got uh, weird and I apologize. Yeah. Was this yeah. an okay end of the year episode? I, it, you know, I, I mean, think, we're all thinking it. Yeah. Like, you know, we're not talking this about stuff that people feeling. aren't thinking about. So yeah. A lot of people feel this way. Exactly. Yeah. Right in listener. Year, we're tired. Are you sad? <laughs> yes. It's a bit Do you sad. have the fear? Listener. Do you do you worry about the rug being pulled out from under you? <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. If you do, we can fix it. Patreon.com <laughs> slash chosen family podcast. For one dollar a month, you can feel secure. Cause daddy's got you. <laughs> With bonus episodes. I can't tell whether or not she's seen my story, but here are some people reacting. Wait, Dude, you didn't you send just us put it up. Can I just show you what? her hot body? Ew, no, Ashley, I do not want to just see her hop. Can you send, can you please send us her profile? I don't. Please? I don't know if you guys are going to like, I don't know if you're going to like roast me. Well, maybe. So, can you please Where show are you us sending it? this lady? I'm going to show you. I can't see, We you are, it, every time looks like you're filming on a potato. Can you just send it to us in the chat? Please? <sighs> guys, come on, guys. Well, and after this, we do. Oh, hello. My what God. Mean? What do you mean we're going to judge you? My God. D- judge you for having phenomenal taste? Yeah. What would we judge you about possibly? She's friggin' adorable. Oh, my God. What if she fucking sees this? Oh, I am a moron. I'm a stu- stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> yeah, we didn't stupid. think about that. <sighs> anyway, we get a break after this. We're, we're, oh, we're taking a week off, right? A week off posting until the new year. I don't care. Uh, yeah, what? Uh, yeah, so I can't remember. Just what so day everybody we said. knows, we're not going to have an episode next week, but then that's But there will give... be a we're having gay sex episode. <laughs> and that's going to give us a little bit of breathing room to take some time off recording but not over the me. holidays. And that means that when we come back, we are going to be fresh and refreshed and fresh. I'll be worse. And refreshed. <laughs> Ashley's going to be still spiraling. <laughs> Ashley doesn't get a break. <laughs> Just pickles in the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you guys for listening. We love you guys. Thank you for being here. You are our lifeblood. So we hope that we can, that we are offering something to your life in return. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Eat. Oh, pickles. Yeah, we, have for we, had, we had Christmas dinner. We had. We couldn't afford dinner. Pickles. Pickles. We couldn't afford dinner. <laughs> Girl dinner. Pickles. We had girl girl dinner. dinner. We had pickles for girl dinner. Chosen Family is a Forever Dog production, hosted by Ashley Gavin, Elena Joy, and Mac Injimi. Edited by Danny Jewell, executive produced by Mariah Nicholas. Forever Dog Productions is Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Brett Boehm. Forever! Forever.